In this video, I'm going to show you several chiropractic adjustments for L5. That also includes chiropractic adjustments for L5 and S1 area, and as well, chiropractic adjustments for the sacrum. On a spine model, this is what we're looking at, okay? Here is the sacrum, here is L5, here's the rest of the lumbar spine. So the adjustments I'll be performing will be on this general area over here. And the symptoms associated with the L5, S1 area can be local, low back pain, can be irritation on those discs, irritation on the nerves, compression on the nerves, and also leg pain in some cases. So chiropractic adjustments of these areas here can be very helpful to relieve the structural distortions in that L5, S1 area, and also sacrum area, and in doing so, improve the mechanics and movement, the mobility of the spine in that area, and reduce the irritation, inflammation, and overall get our patients to improve and heal in that lower back region and with their associated symptoms. So I'll show you the demonstration in a moment. I'll be using Thompson drop technique assessment and also adjustments. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Saluber. I'm a corrective care chiropractor in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. What this channel is about is giving you tips and strategies on how to strengthen and stabilize your back. Like this, you can bend, move and lift normally without pain limitation. We also like to introduce you to different chiropractic methods and corrective chiropractic techniques. If you want these tips and strategies, don't miss out. So subscribe right now by tapping on that red button below, tap on the notification bell. Like this, you don't miss out on these weekly updates and I also give out video updates on a regular basis. So I have my patient here. Let's start with a leg length analysis. In Thompson technique, we use a Deerfield leg length analysis. And we wanna see where the short leg is. So he has a right short leg goes short to short and turn your head to the left, turn your head to the right, back down. So right short leg, short to short in the flex position, head rotations did not actually level off or even the legs, tells me there's a lower back, pelvic or a lumbar spine subluxation usually be in the pelvic region, okay? So in this case, we start with the sacrum. So um, I will affect the L5 area but before I adjust L5, I wanna actually stabilize and correct the sacrum because the L5 sits on the sacrum. Many times an L5 subluxation or misalignment or irritation or distortion will be corrected just by affecting the actual sacrum. I've helped many, many people with their disc bulges at L5 and also at L4. So L4, L5 disc bulge, L5, S1 disc bulge without even adjusting the L4 or L5 area and just adjusting only the sacrum. And this is what a sacrum adjustment looks like with a drop table Thompson technique. Cross your leg over. Okay, good. See the table has a drop mechanism. I'm just gonna adjust the setting here. And take my contact on the sacral apex over here, the sacral notch, and I thrust straight through. Just like that. Three thrusts. That's a correction for an anterior inferior sacrum subluxation. Now I'll recheck the leg lengths. So right short leg. So still pulling short. Turn your head left. Turn your head right. Okay, back down. Still pulling short. We corrected the sacrum subluxation. Now I'm going to move to L5. Now L5, when there is a right AIS sacrum, so right anterior inferior sacrum subluxation, based on the mechanics and the ligament attachments to L5 and the sacrum and the ilium, we know that the L5 rotates to the right. So we're going to correct it by rotating it back to the left. And it's a pull adjustment I'm going to use. There's different ways we can do this. We're going to do a pull adjustment. Get my setting right in the table. L5 spinous process, take a contact, and I'm gonna pull this direction. L5 requires just one thrust. Sacrum, I did three thrusts. Check again, leg lengths. Now they're more even. Awesome. We got a nice correction there in the sacrum, also in the L5. And oftentimes we repeat this adjustment as needed. We notice the inflammation, irritation at L5 and S1 begins to diminish. When I recheck the patients throughout the weeks they've been with us, I press in here and the inflammation, the pain is a lot less. So we know the patient's healing. That's an example of an L5 adjustment with Thompson technique and also a sacrum adjustment with Thompson technique. Now, oftentimes the L5 area, also the L4 area can be associated with disc bulges and disc injuries. So I have a great video for you to continue learning in my channel. Go right here at this video right there. Click on that. 
to get some more information about L405 disc bulges and some exercises for L405 disc bulges. Go check that out right here, right now.